Here's the Parliament of Canada on a normal day. Here it is now. No, I'm just joking. This is the burning of the Parliament in Montreal, 1849. But seriously, here's Parliament Hill on a normal day. Here it is now. It currently has thousands of people protesting in front of it. Al Jazeera, a news network headquartered in the Middle East, truckers protest in Ottawa against Canada's mandate. The so-called Freedom Convoy started out as a rally against certain requirements for cross-border tra uh, truckers, but has turned into a demonstration against government overreach. BBC, the national broadcaster of the United Kingdom, Freedom Convoy, why Canadian truckers are protesting in Ottawa. Truck drivers working the cross-border routes had previously been exempt from mandates, considered essential workers. Social media and news footage showed trucks and companion vehicles snaking along highways, cheered on by people gathered on roadsides and overpasses, often waving Canadian flags and signs disparaging Mr Trudeau. The New York Times in Canada, Freedom Convoy protesting mandates nears capital. Canadian trucker convoy descends on Ottawa to protest mandates. Due to security concerns, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and his family had been moved out of their official residence by the Royal Canadian Mounted Police as a precaution. His office said it does not comment on security matters. Earlier this week, Mr Trudeau said the convoy represented a small fringe minority who hold unacceptable views and do not represent the views of Canadians. The blockade is perhaps the most drastic, organised, pandemic-inspired demonstration the world has yet seen, and may be a sign of things to come elsewhere. Although this is being reported overseas, Australia's public broadcaster, the ABC, has yet to mention anything about this perhaps world-changing event. I mean, I have checked. I've used their search feature, and there's not a damn thing about it. We simply must conclude that this is on purpose. Our taxpayer money being used to essentially hide this news. Somebody in their offices has made an executive decision not to publish anything about the Canadian protests. Australia's second publicly funded broadcaster, the so-called Special Broadcasting Service SBS, has also refused to publish any of this information, remembering they claim that they are trusted Australian world and breaking news. Again, I used their search feature to search for Canada. Great Canadian Railway Journeys. Not a single thing about the protests. Again, a publicly funded broadcaster hiding information. Why? Actually, more importantly, why do Australians allow this? Both publicly funded broadcasters are essentially participating in censorship. The funniest thing about SBS News is, Hong Kong University covers up Tiananmen crackdown tribute. Here's a news headline for you SBS. SBS covers up Canadian Parliament protests. ABC agrees. I sincerely do apologise to the ABC and SBS if they did cover this story. It's just that I can't find their coverage anywhere, which means at the very least they're burying this information. Shame on them. What are your thoughts? Should we ever trust the ABC or SBS again?